Okay, my name is Akashi guys and in this video here we're gonna be hitting a tier list for Ultra Vegito Blue It's finally that time and um, I think a lot of people's tier lists are gonna be quite different There's a lot of variation now based on who you want to value more it might be just personal or if anything There's gonna be a lot of interchangeables I'm gonna be using my normal tier system But I'll dive more into that later on but for now Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video man if you haven't already make sure to press the subscribe button and we're on this grind to 75,000 subscribers I always forget the number so gotta remember for the video 24 hour stream will probably be on already so yeah try tap into that if you see it live but yeah let's get into this video now but the video never starts until we shout out the boy dingy for making the template that everybody uses for their tier list videos dingy underscore yt i actually found out recently that it's dng so i've been saying it wrong this whole time but i already told him i don't care so it's now my personal name dingy for him dingy underscore yt at dngee -E underscore yt go ahead and follow him because he's the one that's made the tier list for me to actually make this video so yeah let's actually get into the video now right, so cool what i like to do at the start of the video is to just like move everything that i'm gonna use or possibly even think about before i actually start tier listing in order so i'm just gonna start dragging people up accordingly if they don't even cross my mind in this meta, then they won't get touched at the start. So it leaves the majority of the units here, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm just gonna start doing that right now. Okay, I think that's about it. Yeah, some people I just dragged up to make some people happy, but for the most part, I think this is okay. Like people I would like think about in some way shape or form. Alright so cool. Now that we've done this I'm gonna move into the tiers of like how I'm gonna order them. So we're gonna start with the god tier section then we're gonna move to z tier and then we're gonna move to like the section down below to finish the job. Okay so now we're getting into the actual tier list. We have to start thinking about the order of who we're gonna put where and we're just getting into the god tier section first. So naturally I'm just gonna start dragging up like people that aren't important in some way shape or form. So uh, I think we should start with Go Freezer. Let's start, pull up UVB, UGB, Rose. Let's bring up all the Ultras actually. Let's bring all of them up. The 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 from like the previous section, including UVB. So this would be like what we had last time, including UVB, right? And if we had to make an order out of these, right? I think ordering this would be a good start point. So. I'd say the weakest out of all of these would be Kid Boo. His shift dramatically, like, it's so stupid. The way he's just dropped down is so stupid. Just because of the fact he's yellow. And his team regen specifically is not the best. But he can be run on powerful opponent. But just his element just keeps him at such a such a bad position because of how often this guy shows up. Cool. Let's not even talk about hit existing as well. So hit would be like one above. But I feel like hit is kind of fading away because USS has his own like core team. Even if you're not even using USS, people just opt in for like the freezer force equivalent of like whatever goal freezer's on. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep hit one above Kid Boo, and then I would probably say it's between these two. UGB's value has been getting backpacked because of this guy, but also because of this guy. People just put him as a like an easy cheap third option. And you could also have Rose as a third option now. These two, I've been actually thinking about it for a long time. I feel like naturally they're going to be in the third and fourth position. Because this guy is very effective on Future. But this guy is also very effective on Fusion Warriors. But I feel like Future is better than Fusion Warriors. But the one place where UGB actually excels is any team with Gold Freezer. Because people just like backpacking him along. So for that sake, I'm actually going to have this one above this one. Because there's two units that are very much top two worthy it's not just these two now before i actually continue i want to mention that i don't think these two units are going to stay in the god tier section i only pulled them up for the ultra discussion so once i can order them i can keep them in this order in a sense so once i get to the z tiers i don't think that kid boo or hit should ever like replace in order so kid boo shouldn't go above kid, uh, ultra hit that's why I actually spoke about them early. So for now, I'm actually going to keep them here. But I do think, depending on the user, you could have them at a god tier level. Um, it's just that right now, it, it's kind of tough. Like Kid Boo against anybody, he's going to take an L because UVB is almost every game. Ultra hit, 
you just you just don't need him it's not that he's bad you just don't need him but yeah cool let me uh continue with this tier list so between these two this would be like the big discussion and they're probably gonna be another interchangeable like between the two as well so uh with this being how it is i'm gonna tell you what i'd have as number one and i'm gonna like go ahead with like countering certain points that people might have um so i'm gonna do it on a basis where i had to choose it's not necessary to choose you can just keep them interchangeable and that's fine but if i had to choose like if someone had a gun at the back of my head someone said you gotta make this prediction right here you gotta keep the unit number one if you don't the earth blows up who am i gonna have out of these two i'm taking vegeta blue i'm taking vegeta blue 10 times out of 10 simply because he's easier to use with the tax switch mechanic your timing with the tax switch is very very important now i will say it's not like it's like insanely difficult to use but a lot of things that people would like take away from this guy you can take away from this guy so the main thing i'm talking about is this this case it would be vb doesn't have a consistent way to go type neutral but i feel like because his counter is so dangerous and the fact that he can remove his vanish it's not really a big deal if he's going to be able to do long combos of cover nullification the combo potential with uvb is much higher in my opinion so the damage exchange with him being on the boost is basically taken away from the fact that he doesn't have um type neutral like the type neutral all over easy to access isn't that big of a deal and his defenses are really really good as well so you don't really need to worry about that on top of the fact that this guy while he's getting comboed for the exchange of him not having type neutral easily accessible he literally heals so anybody that wants to say oh he's gonna get deleted or shredded he'll be healing as he's taking damage and in that time you're not fighting 1v3 in every single game you will literally switch out before you probably die so it's not that big of a deal in this case if you catch them in a combo there's no healing in that combo they're dying until they're able to get that attack switch but with them they've got like sub count and the, the units on their teams are very very good but another thing that we don't really need to mention is that the teams that they use so this guy is on it everywhere and his team's probably the most dominant in the game but you can use this guy on any of this guy's teams and he has his own teams as well so for variety as well i think uvb wins on the team's factor just for the fact that he's all over the place so for any flaws that you might have over you on uvb in my opinion it's not that deep to say that he's like that much worse than gold freezer because he makes it up in so many other ways and i would say for variety in terms of like meta teams you're just gonna see uvb being used on more teams anyways that might be just because of bias but naturally because these two also work together so yeah i think that's pretty much it for my god tier section i think from here we're gonna move on to the z tier i think that's a decent explanation and i'm happy with this top four to be honest let's move on to the z tiers all right so cool we got the z tier section and now we gotta consider who's coming up next so i'm not gonna order it first i'm just gonna drag up people we got hit kid boo the gamma is definitely getting brought up 17 sort of hope trunks for sure is seeing time let's bring up jiren might as well um i'm not to listen to that guy i think that's it how many units is that one two three four one two three four five six oh okay okay let's bring because a marcy up because yeah let me just look around that looked kind of suspicious how it was already just six that looks suspicious is there somebody i'm missing no there's not all right cool <laughs> let's let, let's let's get to work oh yeah 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 thank you for the chat thank you for the chat i was thinking wait what okay okay now it's looking nice okay so what i'm gonna start with 17 undeniably he's not on these guys levels he can be a very good asset to the team but he will never be the main important factor of the team ever and i want people to lock that in ever he won't be but his addition to the teams against uvb big 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 addition to the meta right now so shout out 17 for making it up next after that i think i'm probably gonna go sort of hope trunks this guy i've been seeing him everywhere he's so useful for his gauge and he actually can just like break your combo because of it then the ultimate can one shot you if you're not careful when it's full he he, he, he can go next for sure and i don't feel like i need to go into explanations about these two just the, just the fact they're blue countering uvb they're doing good so that's that's uh five six now let's dive into what's next now i think here's where i'm gonna bring up the ultras and i'm gonna go hit then i'm gonna go kid boo uh keeping that the same 
then after that i'm gonna go like i already explained those in the god tier section so i'm not gonna dive into it but they're less relevant than these two even though they can be good carrying factors after kid boo is where i'm kind of kind of tripping up so i have eight people right now and it's two of these four now the gammas are really really good but they're double yellow and i feel like them being double yellow pushes them back but they are better than jiren however what are my odds of seeing the gammas over jiren i feel like i actually see jiren way more than the gammas like i can play a hundred games i might see the gammas 10 times but if i play those same 100 games i'm gonna see jiren probably 40 times but jiren is just a safe option whether or not he's yellow and gets cooked by this guy vb is not the only unit in the game he's not the only unit in the game there's two purple delicious units here then we've also got the value of beast now i haven't seen beast in these past three days but i know he's good but if we're thinking about a team i, I can't see it I, I can't see it i can't see it him as an individual yes him in this meta He's leaving me. I'm losing. He's losing me. He's losing me, man. He's losing me. Now, dare I say Zamasu is just a better Jiren right now. Dare I say. But I feel like Zamasu isn't necessary because Sword of Hope Trunks exist. So for that reason, I think I'm going to slide him back. So let me just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I think I like this. Then I'm going to unfortunately have to like... Yeah, I'm going to leave this like that. Let me, let me, let me, this is, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is nine. So I have to drive one more person. Jiren's a safe option. No matter what, I feel like he's just such a safe option. People might want to say, oh, he moves down just because of UVB. And he did shift a long way down. But I still think he's a top 10 unit. He's just so consistent. And UVB is not the only unit in the game. So yeah, I'm going to leave the top 10 like this and I don't think I'm going to move it. So we got UVB number 1, Goku Freezer number 2, UGB number 3, Rose number 4, 17 number 5, Sword of Hope Trunk 6, Hit 7, Kid Buu 8, Gamma's 9 and then Jiren 10. I almost forgot to do my UI tier so I just got to like drag up the... The, the, the Dodger boys the Dodger boys and if I'm gonna order them naturally one two three no one two three yeah this would be the order so UI sign just negs rev sign would be like better than MUI though so yeah those will be the guys that it depends on who's using them so UI sign I'm not gonna lie <laughs> he could hang with like with like rose i'm not even gonna lie but it depends on who's using him it really depends on who's using them the right hands yeah he's that is so annoying but yeah 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 i'm just gonna leave them in that tier there now um let's get to i would understand if they was top 10 uh so these are units that i would i wouldn't have in my top 10 because i don't but i still respect their value so zamasu beast so it's going to be one, two. I'm going to add like five people here. Uh, I feel like I'm not seeing somebody. I fully feel like I'm not seeing somebody. Like somebody's not catching my eye. Somebody isn't catching my eye. I guess not. I guess not, man. Uh, should I just put Orange Piccolo for sake? I, I should just put Orange Piccolo for sake. I'm gonna glaze USV and I'm gonna cause problems with that one. I'm happy in my list. I'm, I'm gonna leave it like that. So, yeah, let's actually conclude the list for show for show. We got UVB number one, we got Go Freezer number two, we got UGB number three, we got Rose number four, 17, five, Sword of Hope Trunk six, Hit seven, Kid Boot eight, Gamma's nine, and Jiren ten. Then these three, for anybody with no comprehension, it doesn't mean they're top ten. But I feel like in a certain person's hands, they could do stuff. Maybe not a lot of damage, but the fact that they can dodge means they're not going to get hit. 
So UI Sign is the only one that I personally have in the actual top 10. But these two, they're just dodgy. It's just a factor of their kit that's just stupid. And then these units, if they make your top 10, I don't mind that at all. But they're not in my top 10. And that would be the end of it. That's going to be the end of the video, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. If you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button, man. We're on this grind to 75,000 subscribers. Let me know what you guys think of the tier list. I've given my reasons, but of course, feel free to leave yours in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys for watching the video. My name is Akashi, guys, and I will see you guys in the next one, man.